never find. It'll take the end of all time. Hey, it's John Anthony Francis Wilcox, and I think I'll talk in this voice on Saturday, February the 5th, 2022. I hope you're all doing well, and I don't know, perhaps I should stop talking in this voice and just go back up to wherever this is. I hope you've had a lovely week. Do tell me about it. Write me a story. I would love to get a story from someone. If you write me a story, I'll read that story. Maybe I'll even read it on camera the next time. But you got to write me that story first. <coughs> oh, cough. So, uh, let's let's work backwards. So this evening, I, I cooked ham steak that I did in butter with a little light maple syrup. And then I had that with mango peach applesauce and some cottage cheese and some pieces of a freshly sliced pineapple that I sliced freshly. It was fresh, freyish. And that was all quite delicious. In fact, on that delicious front earlier today, we'll say for lunch, I had thought about something last night as I was going to sleep. I said, I want to make that. So I had some Mishiki, I think that's how you pronounce it, <clears throat> Japanese rice, you know, short grain rice, that I cooked in coconut milk, tiny bit of water, some raisins, and a little salt, and at the end added a pinch of butter. Let me tell you, that was delicious. It was sort of between having some rice and rice pudding, but it wasn't really rice pudding. Um, but it was just a mellow, beautiful, luxurious flavor. I like luxurious, by the way. And Stacy knows what I'm talking about. <clears throat> hmm. But anyway, I had that at lunch. That was that was lovely. It was just lovely. Um, in fact, this morning. I had some of that um, mango peach applesauce in some cream of farina, some genuine old fogey like me food. It was good. It was good. I, it was something that I started having in the hospital. Was They had like apple cinnamon cream of wheat. And farina, after all, is made from wheat. Uh, and I think that's all we're going to talk about with that. So it was uh, an interesting week. A uh, lot of soul searching, thinking about how life is different now and what I want to do within that, you know, which is, you know, move forward at whatever the pace is. I think it's an acceptance of I'm not 21 anymore. I mean, I've accepted that a long time ago, but. Um, rolling with it. Roll, I'm rolling with it, if you will. Uh, on another note, watched a bunch of movies this week. Um, my nephew got the Blu-ray of Death Wish 3, which is always a lot of fun, watching Charles Bronson and Ed Lauder chew up the landscape with a then-unknown Alex Winter. Uh, and a pre-Star Trek Marina Sirtis um, who's adorable in it in her, her small role uh, so, so watch that watched oh one of my favorites from the early 80s Jekyll and Hyde together again with uh, Mark Blankfield and Bess Armstrong and Tim Thomerson and it was just too much fun so it's good to see that again and I watched uh, a Christmas present that I'd gotten from my nephew, which was the Blu-ray and an extraordinary print of my favorite film of all time, My Man Godfrey, with William Powell and Carol Lombard, Alice Brady, uh, Eugene Pellett, Alan Mowbray, Gail Patrick, um, Misha Hour, who's unforgettable in it. Uh, just so much good stuff. 
witty, fun, a lot of heart. You see, they were already they had already been married and divorced in real life, but you see that that, that William Powell and Carol Lombard have such a chemistry on camera. Um, it's a beautiful film to look at. I've never seen a print as dazzling as that one from Criterion. Uh, gorgeous. So watch those during the week. Um, what else? I watched about 10 minutes of a show that got me so angry I had to turn it off. It was a thing about adults adopting other adults. And oh... It's like, oh, that's why you don't watch this stuff, John, because you want to shoot your TV. You understand why Elvis shot TVs. Um, it was just horrible, horrible piece of trash, utter trash. Um, Listen to a bunch of good music. Got it. In fact, I got a new old Masayoshi Takanaka CD called Alone, which just has some dazzlingly fluid guitar work. <clears throat> his uh, usual Brazilian jazz kind of thing is a balance of all that it's from about uh, 1980 81 I think it's 81 it's an album he did just before Rainbow Goblin story I know you're all going oh really that one yes uh, something is on my nose oh that was my finger on my nose it's just like an itch very itchy. It's a itchy. I need to shave soon because it's starting to feel like the ants on my face. Uh, a n t, not a u n t. That would be weird. Uh, what else? What am I leaving out here? Oh, I got um, Grace Mary came by to bring me communion on Thursday. Always wonderful to see her. Um, this and that. You know, been doing this and that. I might do more of that and a little less of this. We'll see what happens. And uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Let's let's work through the week. I've been mean, getting food, making food, making the food that I got, getting the food that I make, things like that. Need to hear from more of you. It's, that's been something where it's been a very quiet week. I haven't heard from much of anyone. I think I heard from like three people. Uh, the entire week. Pep it up, folks. Pep it up. Come on. Oh, an interesting thing since last time. I got, uh, and we'll leave you with this. I got a, I'm going to call it a pre call from a guy uh, from France who was here in the States. He is filming a documentary on a band I'm very well acquainted with, mostly from the 70s, um, a rock jazz fusion band called Brand X. And he asked me if he could come by in the summer sometime and interview me to be part of this documentary because I'm great friends with their bass player Percy Jones and Danny Wilding who uh, was the person who helped put the whole project together back in the early 70s and so I said oh of course and then we found out we had a lot in common we both he was, he was a cartoonist I'm a cartoonist as you know except for those of you who don't know that and uh, it's a lovely chat out of the blue we'll see what comes of it <clears throat> so we'll leave you with that for now more to come I love you I want to hear from you take care <laughs>